Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Thursday, August the 19th, 2010. If you've been listening to us, you're making some coin. And if you haven't, well, we're taking your money. But it's not too late. Check out the markets. Okay, here we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. She was down 144 points at the close, closer to 200 points intraday. But intraday doesn't really matter at the moment, so we won't focus on that so much. Uh, the main thing to focus on here is that the uh, activity of today bearishly engulfs the previous two days of uh, move to the upside, this particular day here and this particular day here. A uh, lot to be learned from that. When you look at this chart right now, let's say that you haven't been listening to us and you didn't, you know, short when we said short and all that stuff, uh, then you're, you know, wondering what do I do now, okay? And that's a good question. Or maybe you you did make money on the short side and you're wondering what do I do now? Well, uh, I would stay short and I would short more. Uh, here's why. And you pulled back here and uh, you had so many, uh, let's see, what was it, five consecutive days to the downside. So you start looking for the bounce. But we told you when this bounce came, you wanted to short that, not try to play it from the long side because it would not have any strength. Um, and that's exactly what we've proven today. Um, now you've pulled back down to this previous level. Here you were here before the bounce, and now you're here, okay? Uh, so why would you buy here? You tried that before, all right? Uh, they tried to rally the market here, and they couldn't get anybody uh, interested in this market. Uh, simply because there's no value, okay, and uh, so it didn't hold and it, it was quickly uh, erased. Now you're here at the same level again, and now the conditions are worse than they were uh, four days ago when this bounce happened, because now you know about the unemployment it just spiked up there again, you know, uh, initial claims that data that came out today. So obviously you wouldn't be a buyer here, you'd keep um, uh, selling this market, I mean, that would make perfect sense to me. Also, if we draw ourselves a little trend line from the low point here, all right, and right over here, you can see that we pierced this trend line. Now, if you've listened to us before, you know that piercing the trend line is what you you get before you break through it. Okay, uh, you can see a couple of examples. Let me grab the tools. All right, right here, you are piercing it. Okay, intraday activity fell below that trend line, and then sooner or later, boom, you go. Okay. This is what you're getting now. You're starting to pierce that trend line. The end result will be a breakdown. Of course, none of this actually, uh, you know, breaking down the trend line and all that stuff doesn't really surprise us because, like we said, the low point here, the low point here, 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 corresponding low points, right? Remember that? Yep. Uptrend that's false, downtrend that's true. That means this uptrend is going to break down, which we just showed you, and here you have the low point. It's going to get taken out. So we're going to fall down here and take out this 10,000 level, okay? So be looking for that kind of moving right there. Quick look at the footsie, she's rolling over, we kept warning you, and there she goes, all right? And notice the candlestick formation, not a hammer formation. That means this is not the bottom, all right? We're gonna end up falling back below this 50-day moving average, and then we're gonna start finding resistance at that level, okay? All right, start looking for that. Uh, this is coming, it's coming hard, fast, and repeatedly, okay? Uh, there's lots of opportunities still out there. If you're looking for shorts or uh, inverse ETFs, we'll show you a, a way to spot that today. But again, this market is just getting started on the sell side. All you're seeing right now is the bearish engulfing, basically erasing of any bounce to the upside that we've had for the past couple of days. And then you end up with the selling that follows. Quick look at the NASDAQ chart. Looks an awful lot like the S&P. Uh, basically the same condition. You had the little weak bounce to the upside we told you to uh, short don't try to go long that market and then the erasing of those uh, updates by today's selling and again you'll notice the volume still is in favor of the bears there's no buy interest between, uh, from the bulls so uh, you can't sustain that it's just it can't be done and what's going to end up happening like we talked about before you don't have a hammer formation right here here or here so this little bottom that you had here wasn't true bottom so you just bounce, uh, blip to the upside, and now you're rolling back over and going lower. That's you know how the game is played. You're just kind of grinding yourself lower until you actually find some reason to uh, make a, a substantial bounce. And right now you have nothing out there to to support that theory. Okay, I mean the news is bad. Uh, markets are hit over ex uh, extreme conditions like the Hang Seng Index was up the RSI 70 line. All these uh, major sell signals now are rolling over. Okay, so that's going to really weigh on the markets. Like we talked about yesterday, watch that video uh, from yesterday if you want more of a fundamental uh, perspective on the current uh, market moving forward for the rest of the year. Nothing out there is really bullish. 
and all the technicals right now look like you need to be looking for more selling again this is a continuation signal and I would look for more uh, selling a continuation of it okay always whenever you're doing a, a market analysis especially uh, the US market analysis but uh, if you want to double check your analysis make sure that you're not just reading it however you want to read it and whatnot uh, double check it and the way to do that is to go look at the VIX okay the VIX runs the opposite of the overall markets so if the overall markets are bearish the VIX will be bullish if the overall markets are dropping off the cliff the VIX will be rallying okay so uh, if you're going look at your individual markets the Nasdaq the Dow Jones the S&P and you're seeing very bearish signals you should be seeing bullish signals on the VIX and if you want to trade the, the VIX you could trade the VXX uh, which is an ETF which tracks the VIX but you can see right here we have a very strong chart here the first off you had the oversold condition you'd pulled down here below the 20 line you're in uptrend so that makes sense and you had this bounce up here notice you never hit the 80 line okay uh, never reached uh, anywhere that you need even needed to advance your stop loss limit to then she's pulled back slightly and formed a hammer formation on the middle Bollinger Band line and now showing a continuation signal strong continuation signal to the upside uh, for the VIX which is a bearish sign for the overall market just confirms my earlier analysis okay very simple very easy you'll notice also the constricting of these Bollinger Band lines there's a big move setting up preparing to happen and uh, you need to be uh, watching for that may not be in a day we're not really trying to time this thing to that uh, in degree it's we're swing traders here not day traders but the main point is to take away that the market is growing weaker and weaker the VIX is growing stronger and stronger and that's a pretty easy way to trade that you know if you know your overall market is going to go lower 90 percent of stocks follow that market lower so why would you try to go on the long side you wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense you'd be stacking the odds against yourself and that would be an increase of your losses and you know an increase of my gains okay don't fight the signals all right the chart never lies work with it not against it if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com it's right there it's a hundred percent free all we ask in return refer a friend that's it that's simple okay also subscribe to the YouTube channel we'd appreciate that we're really trying to get 3,000 subscribers we got 23,000 I'm sorry 2,350 uh, but we really want to hit 3,000 subscribers so you know it's 100% free it's a nice little thing to gesture you know on your part to uh, help us stay free and we appreciate that support a uh, quick look at our disclaimer the disclaimer read it and weep if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockler.com you need to do that we've got uh, new features out there for you if you, some of you guys uh, sent me an email saying that you guys uh, were having a problem with the website layout the new layout uh, be sure you refresh your browser you know delete your t temporary internet uh, files and browser cookies and you won't have any problems okay awesome also uh, you can pre-register for next month's trading course and learn how to read charts the way we do and uh, anyone who pre-registers for next month gets the rest of this month 100% free alright see you there tomorrow take care God bless enjoy the evening and let's just keep making the money.